To access the time clock feature, we simply click on time clock in here. This is the employee time clock in our program. Now, in order to use it, all your employee needs to do is enter their employee number and hit the punch in, punch out button. And that's how they punch in and punch out quickly. Now, to enter the employee number, they can type it in manually or um, they can swipe a card if you made cards for them. You can make like magnetic cards that contain the employee number that just by swiping fills out this field. Or, um, you know, you can make them cards with the barcodes. So then by scanning the barcode, it will fill out the employee number in this field. For now, we'll just uh, manually type in uh, the employee number. And let's say we'll use one of those employee numbers that we entered in previous uh, video tutorials when we we're creating employees in this um, software. So we'll go ahead with one of those. Uh, the correct one I think we have in the data right now is 007. And um, past this, you don't have to fill out their name or anything like that. Just for fast operation, employee number is enough. And you just punch in or punch out, of course, depending on the day's um, activity so far the clock knows whether you need to punch in or out so we weren't punched in so it punched us in and uh, it filled in the first and last name of the employee now if uh, you know we want to punch out the same same process goes for punching out you click on time clock enter the employee number or swipe the card for it and click the punch in punch out button and as you can see it punched us out with the new time on a difference in seconds in here unfortunately because we're doing all of this fast for demonstration purposes and of course uh, you can punch in and out uh, a few times in one day uh, that is for some special circumstances if some establishments need it like let's say if the, the employee you know takes breaks or longer breaks that are not paid and you want to have them punch out as they're taking a break they can do that and then when they come back they can punch in again um, now if there ever is a mistake in the times in punch in and punch out or the uh, employee forgot to punch in or punch out so you need to fill it in manually or fix an error manually uh, for that purpose you would go to managers menu time clock table now this will be a grid or table that's filled with data uh, based on each row represents the employee number and a certain date and all of their punch in punch out activity in that date now once you pinpoint the problem one the problem record um, let's say this one in here let's say we wanted our punch out time to be 11 o'clock instead of 10 o'clock then you just uh, need to take note of the employee number and the date for this record that's the information you'll need for editing we'll just click edit and let's say we took care of the date that's the correct date and employee number 007 as soon as you click edit it will show you all of the times all the activity that it has on this uh, day for this employee number and let's say as we said the punch out time we want to manually edit it to 11 so you can just go ahead and write into the box and edit the value or if you had a missed punch in or punch out you can actually click on one of these and fill it out and then we'll just click update once we're done with the changes and this will be updated uh, the changes will take effect in the database we can see that and double check by going to manage this menu again and time clock table and there it is 11 o'clock.